Hello everybody and welcome to my next LP. It's going to be on Iron Horse Farm which is currently not released to the public. It has been submitted to the official mod contest though so I'm really looking forward to the results of that. Iron Horse Farm has been located in Iron Horse Valley since 1855. The farm has grown and raising a wide range of agricultural products with a professional animal side as well. You are now a proud worker of Iron Horse Farm, so with many tasks to do, you'll never be standing still waiting for something to happen. There's also a wide variety of animals to tend to, so your day will always be full. So this is made by someone called Something On My Shoe 2, along with a lot of other help, I believe. So it features wheat, barley, rape and maize, which is obviously the standard crops, but it also has oats, rye, sunflower, if I get this right, alf, alpha, clover, potato, uh, sugar beet, potatoes washed, compost, tomatoes, cauliflower, white cabbage, steamed potato, lamb, pigs, beef, fattening cows, uh, sheep, fattening chicken, and uh, it also has two mods, which I believe are the terrain detail angle, I'm not 100% sure on what that is, and also the chop straw, which is a mod, and also a big special thanks to those people on the right there. So let's get straight into it. We are playing on hard. This is going to be totally Iron Man. We're starting with £4,000. I've just started the new game. I've not been in this save game yet. And uh, the machinery which we get is the machinery which we use. I'm not going to buy anything until we can um, legitimately afford it. So, <laughs> I know, look at this map. This struck me when I first opened the mini-map. It is absolutely packed. It is such a massive map, I can't believe it. And it's not like it's a small map which looks like it's bigger because it's got so much detail in it. It literally is a huge map which is packed full of detail. I'm amazed I can actually run the map. It is just amazing. Uh, but it has lots of different features, loads of fields, and you can see there's a great deal of arable fields in there, but there are also grass fields as well, along with all of your livestock farms. So it's just going to be, I think, this first episode a tour because it's going to take a whole episode just to show you it all. And in fact, I don't know if I'll be able to show you it all anyway, because some of the areas are just fields, and I don't know if I'll have time to, but I'm going to show you the main parts. Basically, this is where we start. I'm not quite sure on what this building is. It kind of looks like a county court, but I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, what I'm going to do then is we're going to jump into our first piece of equipment. I will show you everything first, actually, what machinery we do have. We've got the new Holland T6 with the front loader and a bucket. We have the New Holland TC590 along with that little, uh, I'm not sure what it is, Brantner is it? Yep, Brantner trailer. So this is all very small equipment along with our fertilizer and seed. And then after that we have the Stayer, which I haven't really used too much of. I've used the forestry one, but not really this model. It's nice to have this because I don't really use it too much. Uh, so it makes a change from the New Holland. Um, but you can already see a great deal of uh, detail here. There's also this trailer, the Agro Liner. So that would be handy if we get a bigger combine. Now I'll also show you the implements we start off with. Because they're dotted around the map, I can't really jump to them all. But obviously we've got the header and the header trailer for the combine. We've got the two trailers. We've got the small trio cultivator. The small plough. The small drill and a front weight. So this really is like we're starting off on the Hagenstead map from the beginning with next to no machinery. We do have a little bit, but it's not much for the size of the farm. So this is going to be tough. This is going to be the toughest LP I've ever done. Whether or not I'll be able to finish it, I have no idea. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to give it a go because I have been uh, taking it quite easy really with the Challenge from Farm map, playing on normal difficulty and also starting off with the big machinery. But, uh, let me just make a note of where I'm starting off. We're starting off here, right in the middle of the map. So I'll probably do like a loop of the map, and then we'll come back on ourselves. So I'll head north first, over to the Iron Dam Cafe. I'm going to have to follow the roads a great deal here. So this is one of the yards, very detailed, I do like it. Lots of storage, lots of space as well, so you can move around easily. I will just go to the next exit. I can't even begin to imagine how long it's taken to make this map. It's just incredible. So we're going to turn right. And I'm not really sure where this uh, farm is. Apparently it's totally fictional. 
so it could be anywhere but it's got white lines in the road so I'm assuming that it is the UK but then there are some things which make it not look like the UK so I'm not sure I think it's just like a mixture of different places just let your imagination go wild basically so let's go north to the uh, dam the water dam this map is just amazing because it's just so vast but it still maintains the high level of detail you'd expect from it also in the description below is a link to the Mappers Paradise forum there is also a section on FSUK for Mappers Paradise so you can go there as well but it'd be nice if you could visit the official uh, forum as well so here is, uh, I believe this is a cell point and also where you take your chicken eggs to Obviously I'm not the maker of this map so I don't know it off the back of my hand. I'm still learning as well. Also fuel. So if you need fuel you can come here. There's a cell point. It is just so big this map. Incredible. I'm going to go over here and then we'll head up the hill there to the top of the dam. It's English road signs as well, so I think it is England. I'm not too sure though. So here we have our first little bridge. You can see the dam over there. No water flowing down it today though, so it's obviously not rained too much. Lots of water. There's a lot of water on this map. We've got field 42 on the right. Nice little field there. 43 on the left. Huge field 44 up here. There's a little muddy track there. I know it's going to take a lot of getting used to. It's just so expansive, this map. So, this is like a little muddy trail by the look of it. Just to give you a bit of a bump in the tractor. Good little shortcut, actually. There's a lot of dry stone walls as well. I think every road is surrounded by dry stone walls. We've also got trees. Which they do look like the ones you can cut down. Also telegraph poles. Loads of detail. It's just packed full. The 30 limit here. There's another cell point. I'll have to look into detail what each cell point is. I'm assuming a different crop goes to each one. But here is the dam. This is incredible. In fact, I'll get out and have a look. It's just, oh, I can't believe the amount of detail. It's brilliant. Actually, I think there is water flowing down there. Because that one at the end is dry. Let's just see on the other side. Yeah, it looks deep enough. And the view is great as well. But yeah, I just can't put my finger on where this is supposed to be. I have asked, and apparently it's just fictional, so... I think it is just wherever you want it to be, that kind of thing. Still really nice though. So we're going back the other way again now. This is going to be difficult for me to stay on track and make sure I cover everything. But um, yeah, I think we'll just keep following the road. The Iron Dam Cafe is coming up here on the left. There's a bit of parking there. I'm not sure what you sell there. Um, I'll have to have a look. Okay, so at the Iron Dam Cafe, you can sell your wheat, barley, canola, corn, steamed potato. I'm not sure why that's flashing, so just ignore that. Um, oats, rye, sunflowers. Anything else? No, nothing else. But you can just see how massive this list of things is. We're going to be able to do so many different things. This is definitely going to be my toughest LP yet. It could even be the toughest LP ever. Because before when I've done an Iron Man kind of mode. Uh, it's been a smaller map. This one is just so <laughs> massive. And already I don't even know how I'm going to do it because I've only got £4,000 and we don't have any grass equipment which means we're going to have to immediately harvest and I'm not sure if we've got any fields ready to harvest yet so it's going to be quite difficult. This is going to be a challenge. So we've got all these fields on the left and right. Nice rolling countryside there.
A very steep field there, 23. It's going to be a bit of a challenge harvesting that one. And there's even buildings which don't even show up on the minimap. That looks a bit like a, a silage pit, I think that could be. I'll head this way now. More dry stone walls. Hedges. All very nice. have taken so long to make this. Right, so which way do we go? Uh, we, I think we should probably go, uh, let's think here, right, I think. I'll just try and explore everything as much as I can, like a bit of an overview. This part of the map really is just a load of fields. We'll cut down here actually. Yeah, this is <laughs> it's very difficult. So many different twisty turny pieces of road. So we've got some more water coming up in front. And the building as well. This looks like our storage point in here. I think it's in here. Uh, unless it's the next one actually. It could well be the next one. Here we go. So this must be somewhere where you store your crops over there I think in the silos. But this is a garage. Can you go in? Oh you can. Oh, look at that. It looks more like a workshop actually. It could be a workshop. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure what this is but still very nice anyway even open the door. If there was some machinery already in here, it would be even better. So here's a bit of a, a workshop I guess. There's an air compressor there. Yeah, and a lifting crane. Oil. So uh, yeah, very nice. Some tires there. Uh, we'll go back in the tractor. We'll keep exploring because I haven't got time to waste. We have got a lot more to look at. Better just shut that behind me. So we're coming to the main section of the map now. This is where all the activity is. You can see there is a lot more different icons here. So if I turn right out of here. So here we have the train line. You can see a train down there. A tunnel over there. And we've also got the cell point for your tractors. This is where you can also buy your tractors from and different machinery. It's like it's a JCB dealership. Down here we've got, uh, where is this? Welcome to Fox Earth. This must be a village. It's then train station. It's then hotel as well somewhere I've noticed. And speed bumps. Look at that. Parking spaces for the train station. Should we get out and go on the platform? off the road here. I'm waiting for a train. Even got the timetable. The attention to detail is brilliant. Double line. I'm not sure why the train stopped. You'd think it'd be moving around. That would be nice if it was. Unless it's the one which, like in uh, the original map where you can send your grain off with it. It could well be. Now this is a tighter little road. The station in. So much detail, it's just brilliant. There's even manhole covers in the road. So here's the train. 
It is. It's the same one, I think, from Hagenstead. So you, you probably bring your wood or your grain or something here. And you can set it going. Look, there's the little lever. Which way is it going to go? This way. <laughs> so you get to control the train as well, that's nice. Jump back over the dry stone wall. We've got the uh, timber, which the train is either taking out or bringing in. Now where shall I go now? Let's have a look here. I think we'll probably head to the southwest side of the map. Turn right here. This is where we've got our unloading place for grass up here. Near the beef. Which are in there. I can hear them. The cows. Unloading place for grass is just there. I don't think there's any moving traffic. But I would have thought it would be incredibly hard to get traffic to move around all this maze of different roads. So you wouldn't expect everything. We have more cows down here. Along with another cell point. There are plenty of cell points. That's for sure. And another train. That must be what the cell point is then. Take your grain to there. Now straight up ahead here we have our pigs, down another little muddy track. That's just this complex here. They must be in there. There's a lot to learn about this map. It's like a, a different world. It's not like any of the farming simulator maps I've played on. It's certainly different. And at the end of there, uh, let's have a look here. The garden centre should be left. More water with another bridge. Like a canal, really. Here's the garden centre. So we should be able to buy our tree saplings from here. And another cell point, believe it or not. There are so many different cell points. Which is fantastic. Okay, so I think we've probably seen this side of the map and head over to the eastern side. These roads are really amazing. See what I did there? Maze. I oh, forget it. Right, so here we are. We've got the uh, hotel coming up here. Somewhere. I have seen it on the mini map. Let's just have a look where it is. Yeah, just up here near the cell point. It's another cell point you can actually sell to the hotel. I've lost it. I've lost the hotel. No, there it is. That's where you go. Now, somewhere, we should be able to cross the river. Um, I can see a place just over here to the left. There's a bridge. I don't know if it's for tractors, though. Probably not. Hmm, I might have to go up to the north again to cross here. Don't know if that's just for pedestrians. Oh no, we should be able to go over it. Field 38 is one of ours. We can go and cut that if we wanted to. It well, if I had the mower actually, I haven't really got enough equipment to, but we do own it. This is feeling more rural again. I believe we also own that wheat field there. So we can do some harvesting. So, yeah, it's definitely coming more out of the way over here. Not as much of interest. We're actually climbing the hill. Yeah, 
Yeah, we own most of the fields in the east. We don't really own too many in the west. So this really is going to be one interesting LP, I reckon. And I think it's going to be quite hard. And there's going to be quite a bit of bank loaning going on. Although I probably shouldn't do if I'm playing on Iron Man. Hmm. Do you think I should use the bank loan system or not? So our lambs are up here. The complex for arms, oh, almost missed it, is just up here. We've got the diesel on the left. Fuel station. You see, that's what makes it look American. That fuel station sign. Uh, I just can't quite put my finger on it. I guess this is a good map for those of you who have been looking forward to an American map, because it could be either. It's whatever you make it, really. So in here... When these gates open? Yep. We have got our sheep. Well, this is the whole sheep complex, basically. We've got where we fill the water up, the feed, and also our root crops, similar to what's in Cobble Park Farm. So we've got so much to do, so many different things we can do. We can really diversify. It's really nice. And I don't know if I've been to everything, but I think I have pretty much touched on it. So, yeah, I think that is probably a good place to leave it. That is Iron Horse Farm in Iron Horse Valley by something on my shoe too from Mapper's Paradise. This is going to be in the mod contest, so I really hope you enjoy it and I really hope you're going to support this map all the way through and the, the mapper behind it as well. So thanks for watching and we'll be starting to farm this map tomorrow. Bye for now.